owners breathed a sigh of relief on Tuesday, on Tuesday when the Reserve Bank made the decision to pause interest rates at 4.1%. In his statement, the RBA Governor Philip Lowe said that while it had peaked, inflation was still too high, leading to fears that more rate rises could be on the horizon. Here to tell us what she thinks Philip Lowe should do is stressed homeowner and oracle of everything, it's Mel Buttle! <laughs> Well, um, I mean, Lowe's in a pretty tough spot here. We can't blame this all on him, can we? Well, look, probably not, but doing that is certainly a lot easier and more fun than trying to understand what inflation is. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Is this purely an economic decision, though, do you think, Mel, or do you think there could be maybe more to it? I have watched more than enough Dr Field to know something's <laughs> happened. He's acting out. Yep. Something's gone on at home. And I would like to appeal to his wife, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, please make his favourite dinner. Let him go and walk around Bunnings for a bit. <laughs> Hand him a beer when he gets home. Let's pull all the levers we have access to to reduce these interest rates, please, Jocelyn. Do you get what I'm saying, Jocelyn? Are you listening? <laughs> so if you were the RBA governor, what would you do, Mel? Coke in the bubblers. <laughs> um, I would buy cat shoes again. I'd go to the pub and I wouldn't even get the $12 rump. I'd get the $32 rib fillet yep. with two it's mushroom it. sauces, one oh. for the chips. I'd get my hair done. Um, and You know when they offer you the leave-in conditioner? Yes. I would say yes. yes. Um, I'd go to a podiatrist. I'd start looking at sorry, property. Sorry, sorry, I don't... I don't that, that, that's not quite the question. What would you do? Like, what changes would you make about interest rates? Uh. Oh, well, there's some further tightening of monetary policy may be required to ensure that <laughs> inflation returns to a target in a reasonable time frame. Yeah. Thanks, Wha Waleen. Wow, Mel, it seems like you know quite a lot about this. Um, <laughs> have you been shocked by all these rate rises? No, no, not at all, Sam. I knew they were coming because there's a bloke on the internet who is my personal economic barometer. Oh, like a financial advisor, maybe? No, 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 no. Um, his name is Andy Aussie seventy six, um, and he's now only offering me forty dollars for pictures of my feet. It used to be much, much higher. So times are tough. Times are tough. Now, boomers often used to talk about how they survived interest rates of seventeen percent. What do you think of mm. that? I think the boomers worked very hard to get what they have now. So let's not slag them off because my mum worked both Wednesdays and Fridays to help pay for our house. <laughs> Sometimes going right through to 2.30pm. Wow. Well, so, well. Um, by the way, just my interest rate in conversations with boomers about how they got their house for $30,000 <laughs> is zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> At least they're low. But if, but if boomers, it's not their fault, Mel. Where could you cut back on your spending? Oh, gosh, I was being very frivolous. I was <laughs> splashing the cash around, wasn't I? Thank you to <laughs> Philip Lowe for pulling me into line because before the interest rate hike, listen to the stuff I was buying, um, I was splashing money on things like medication, oh. Car insurance? Luxuries. Wow, what a spoiled brat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tough times, Mel. So uh, have you thought about potentially getting a second job? So are you actually asking me that, Sam, while I'm sitting here at my second job speaking to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this yeah. a job, okay. is it? Yeah. <laughs> this is a three-minute segment that I do once a week when I'm available, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's, a, it's just not a job for Sam. So yeah. we just, it's a little secret. Right. I, just, I hope that helps. Yeah. There is a bit of a generation divide, though, with this stuff, Mel. So who do you think <laughs> is doing it the toughest? I would guess that it's a generation who used to pay for their car insurance with feet pits. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no? yeah. thank you so much for joining us. That's it. You're very welcome, Molly. <laughs>